Fuck! Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Elliot Kedwin. Welcome back to Life is Strange, Chapter 4, Part 4. Coast is clear. It would be so cool if you and me were going to school here together. But now you can have Mr. Jefferson all to yourself. Ugh, you suck. Now let's get into Blackwell Ninja mode. It's so lame, they don't have co-ed dorms here. Yes, because I want Nathan Prescott in the room next door. Good point. Wait here. Give me the signal if Nathan or anybody shows up. I won't let you down, Batmax. Now I just have to find Nathan's room. Okay. Who needs a dorm map anyway? At least I can see that Nathan isn't in room 106 or 108. Can you heal the cost and you're not sure, okay. Hayden, I wonder if Hayden's here. Blackwell Academy Boys Dormitory, no homo, racist pig, knowledge is good, said no one ever. Um, okay. And this is the end night, so someone's in love with Alyssa. Kate. Supermax, in case you still need it, Nathan's room number is 111. Kate, you're awesome. Thank you. Love that you bring out the rebel in me. You already are a rebel. Trust me. Always and please be, please be careful. I promise. Of course, I'll keep you posted. I know you will. Okay. Oh, Kate brings it. So, room 111 is the magic number. Evan. Of course. That's why no shits were given. <laughs> Evan rolls. Vortex Club sucks. Ass laugh, Evan. Max, what are you doing? Hurry up! Da, 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 da. There's Eagle Eye Chloe scoping out the area for Nathan. Apparently, Logan missed this poster. Safety first, look before you last. Always use protection and secure your future. Who's. Who am I hearing? I can't tell who it is, but... Okay. Who would steal cat pics? Reward on September 15th, my backpack with all my school books and my new tablet was taken from the cafeteria. Don't care about the school books, but my tablet is a large picture file of my late cats. Rest in peace. So I'll pay your cash rewards, no question asked, please. These cats are my best friends. This is really about cats. So weird. They have one more meeting left. Casual gamers, your time is over. Join Gamer Guys. Every week we play and analyze a new game. Uh... Join Gamer Guys, blah blah blah. Games, okay. The showers. Ugh, why, hello, Trevor and Dana. Skateboarding is not a crime. Oh, maybe those are the guys who I heard in there. Are toilet paper wars mandatory in the dorms? What? Oh, interesting. Every photographer should have one blurry Bigfoot shot. Even after Kate, nobody here learned anything about bullying. Max, hurry up and find Nathan's room. Yep. Yeah. Wait. Oh, jerks. 
At least nobody messed with the Kate portrait. Karai, hipster Karai. Zack or Logan? Who knows? Bro's got a bro. Okay. Hayden. Ugh, skunk weed and video games. I sense Hayden is near. This just makes me think of Kate. Don't be bored if you're the victim of bullying, you're not alone. Okay. Hello, Warren's room. Hawking and him make a good team. Poor Warren. This is the work of Nathan. He's so lucky I'm a pacifist. Hmm. <laughs> I mean, he's... He's not wrong. <laughs> uh, okay, yeah, that was me. Whatever. Oh, you Bigfoots. Hmm. Sorry, Kate. Looks like one of the jocks did care about Kate. Whose room is this? Racist pig. Interesting. Okay. Weird. I wonder who that is. Okay. Nathan. This can only be Nathan's room. The Prescott's rule this stuff. Ah. Uh. Now I need to find Nathan's phone, or anything with clues. Choice. Max, now that David is not here, I need Chloe to step, out and step up and stop acting out so much, but that won't happen if you and her are getting mixed up in illegal crap like breaking into Blackwell at night. I know it happens, so don't bother to defend or explain. I hoped you would uh, get her back on the right track, but it looks like she's getting stuck again. You could be such a good influence on her, unless you both want to play bad. But she can't keep blaming David now. I'm sorry, Choice, even if I get into shenanigans, but I'm trying to be a good influence on Chloe. I know, Max. I forget you're still teenage adults. Hmm. Well, sorry, Choice. I'm sorry. Okay, let's look around. That's so cute and ironic. I can't believe Nathan still has it around. The best son in the world. This diploma certifies that Nathan Prescott is officially the best son in the world. The parents. Sean Prescott. Hmm. So that obviously means something to him. That monochrome camera is brand new and costs about six grand. <laughs> Bastard. I thought Victoria had the photo bling, but once again, the Prescott's rule. I really hope they were all consenting models. Jeez. I mean, do you even know if he took that? Could be of some weird artist. That is so Chloe. Hey asshole, we need to talk or I'm going to tell everybody what you did and you're going to pay, motherfucker. Oh my god. Chloe. Oh shit. Oh, Chloe. So that happened. Oh. That looks disturbing. 
I also want to know what happened there. If it was similar to what happened to Kate. And what it was. Whale songs? Maybe this is the only soothing thing Nathan ever hears. Can I turn it on? That must be the lamp Chloe broke when Nathan drugged her. Oh, yeah. I don't think one book can guide the Prescotts. Ray John, a teen parent guide to anger management, Dr. Bill. Okay. Damn, Nathan. That's a nice shot. If only all your energy went into photography. It's so damn creepy, but the guy has his own style. Hmm. What's so creepy about it? I mean, I mean, right there, she also took a photo of a dead bird. <laughs> I'm just saying. Okay. More pills. I don't think this prescription has helped, Nathan. No. No, it doesn't. It doesn't Welcome seem to like the it. boys' dorm. Nathan Prescott. All American teen. Butts and boobs. Oregon's best boobs. <laughs> oh, okay, cool. Um, did I look at this already? That looks like a totally fun show. Even Nathan has a light side. It's new romantics. Alright. Oh, weird. Okay. Nathan likes his tortured subjects way too much. <laughs> Some skulls and... I wonder what that is. It looks like a butt with arms. I, I don't know. It, it looks like a weight of her body. Oh wait, this is actually a thick belly. Oh yeah, now I see. This looks like some thick guy posing for a picture. <laughs> I wonder why they put that here. And what is this? Ah, it, it looks weird. I, I can't really tell what it is. But this is on the right side. It looks like a thick guy <laughs> in uh, boxers. Anyway. These films all have a dark pattern. He's got a lot of films. Wow. Okay. Holy shit. That's the gun Nathan used on Chloe. A gift from... Instructions for use important safeguards. Hmm. Huh. Interesting. I wonder if he had the weapon before that happened? I mean, way before he got into drama with Chloe? Or... oh! Damn. Okay, I wasn't done looking here. Let's see what Nathan hides in here. God. Okay. Nathan is way into this party. Bad sign. To Victoria. Hey, gorgeous, let me know what you're wearing to the Vortex this week so I can wear something just as styling and expensive. I'm psyched about going and I'm picking up some serious patai uh, favors. What? Yeah, I even told my dad to keep the pigs away from Blackwell so we can get wrecked without hassle. If you're going to have an end of the world theme, then let's do it fucking on point, right? Um. Okay. Sounds like they're best girlfriends, kinda, but okay. Hmm. <laughs> it's kinda funny to read that, <laughs> I don't know, okay. Oh, bastard. Now I remember why I hate you. And why Kate will get justice. Ooh, Kate's gone wild. Hardy hard, okay, there it is. I wonder how many clicks it has. So he's still got the tab open. Oh, man. Sean Prescott might be Nathan's real problem. Don't worry from Sean Prescott. 
Nate, I know this has been a stressful week and your mother and I are here to talk if need be. Just make an appointment anytime. Your mother wants Dr. Bill to come out after his book tour, but for now let's stick to your prescriptions. I need you calm and quiet while Penn Estates is being developed. I know being a Prescott is a burden and I guide you into this room step by step as did my father. It was hard for me when my dad opened my eyes to our destiny, but you'll thank me someday. Don't worry about Blackwell, this shithole town is going to get an enema along with a fresh brand. I want you to be ready to take over when the moment is right. Don't fuck it up, son, your father. This is... some... sick. Sick stuff. This is really sick. Wow. Okay. Which room is he talking about? And what kind of destiny? This is so weird and... Oh, and, and vague, I don't know. I don't like it. Too bad Nathan isn't more like his sister. She sounds awesome. And far away. Oh, he has a sister, okay. Uh-huh. Do a bam from Brazil, brother. It's been too long since I've heard from you, so please let me know what's going on in your exciting scholastic scholastic life at Blackwell. I brag to all my co workers in the Peace Corps that my talented pro Nate got a full scholarship to one of the best art schools in the world. Even though I can't always check my mail or phone, please, please, please send me some new photos of campus so I can live vicariously through your lens. <laughs> I miss you and your pictures, and yes, Mother Toby, you've been in trouble and Father has been on your ass, but you have to either ignore him or stand up to him. You know I love that, Nate, but I'm also in a jungle halfway across the world because of him. He's a bully who inherits power, not wisdom, and the only way to win against one is to fight back. Don't let him change you into one just for the family legacy. End of lecture, you're at school, so I just wanted to make you feel at home. Back to the mangrove, sending out good thoughts. Better right back or I have a Jaguar shipped to your dorm. Chris. Okay, that's pretty interesting. So, um, I guess whatever's going on in that family doesn't affect the girls, it looks like. Wait, what, what's she doing? Okay. Peace Corps. Aha, uh -huh, interesting. So, so she's really, really far away, I get that, okay. Well, at least one of his family members is supportive. Christine, interesting. Yes, Nathan sure needs diet pills. This is strong stuff. Diet pills? Wow. Huh. But why? This is... Why? Oh, this is weird. Huh. wonder what that is about. Are they his or... Please, please, please stay away, Nathan. I can rewind if he shows up, but... I can't count on it. Yeah, I don't think he's immediately gonna shoot. Uh, yeah, I wonder if those pills are for him or if he orders them for someone else. Weird, but I think when he saw him, when we saw him at the, when we saw him at the diner, he was just sipping some whatever he had, juice, water, whatever, coffee. I can't remember what it was, but he wasn't eating anything. I don't know if that's uh. Related to this, uh, but yeah, that's that's interesting. But they only give you like random information, and you don't really know what to do with it. Uh, I don't know. Maybe, maybe we'll figure it out. I'd cry too if I had him for a father and had to wear that suit. Christ! What? <laughs> What's? With Nathan and thick guys, or is, are those supposed to be women? It's so, it looks so strange. Huh. The picture in the middle doesn't even look human. 
what the hell? But yeah, he seems to be into thick guys, now we know. Very informative. <laughs> Didn't look at this, right? Yes, I would be cool with having this high-tech projector. Oh yeah, that's actually pretty nice. Ooh, scratch marks. Probably from Chloe? What the hell are all those marks on the floor? Oh. From the couch, I guess. Okay. Let's move it. Let's find out what you're hiding. Uh-huh. Oh yes, little phone. You are mine now. Huh. Now I have Nathan's phone, so I can show it to Chloe. Well, before Nathan comes back. Okay, anything else I could swipe? No. Okay, then let's leave. Just want to check real quick if I if there's new um, interactions or something. New doors I can open. You never know. No. No. Okay. Yeah, everything looks clear. Okay. Damn, Max, you're finally back. I got worried. So, what did you find? His room was clean and creepy. Check this out. Boom, Nathan. We got you by the balls, fucker. What are you doing in my dorm? You're such a nosy bitch, Max. Stop right there, Nathan. Make me ho. <clears throat> Max, I got this. Get the fuck out of my face. <clears throat> you are so fucking dead. <sighs> Get off me, bro! Uh, oh. Um. Um. You know, there's various options. If she stops Warren, for example, Nathan could grab the gun and try to shoot one of them. And if she stays out of it, I have actually no idea. I would like to see... I would like to check out, out both options. Okay, I will just... Just to be sure, I will stay out of it. You like to hurt people, huh? Like Max? Like Kate? Like me? Huh? Feel this, motherfucker! Shit! Who's the bitch now? Chloe! Damn, Warren Fuck. went full alpha on Nathan. And it was good. But scary. Shit, man. This really hurts. Fuck. Fuck. Warren, what the hell? Didn't I say he was kinda strange? Didn't didn't I? Didn't I say it? Oh, he looks so tiny and... Uh, I think my face is broken. He looks so tiny and hurt. Like, I don't want this. I don't want this. No. 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 No, I don't want this. I will rewind. Can I not rewind? Shit. Oh, I can. Okay, okay. Everything's good. I can. I hit the wrong button. This is bad. This is really bad. I gotta stop Warren. I really... I can't let this happen. This is just Damn, sad. Max, you're finally back. Too sad. I can't. Nope. 
Warren, stop it! Come on! Oh! Oh, my head! Why are y'all looking at me like that, huh? You and you! You're all dead! Let's go. Now! Plus, my dad is on his way. You're all fucked. He owns you! Even if Nathan definitely deserved a beating, we should try to be better than that. Yeah. Just checking. No, okay. Fuck. Warren can be really creepy. This was definitely too much. Damn, that was intense. Warren, uh, th thank you so much. For what? For headbutting Nathan Prescott. That was awesome. I don't know. I almost went crazy there. Like Nathan. You're not anything like him. Good to know. Mm. So where are you going? I better stick with you guys. Just in case you need me to get my whole I don't again. want him around, okay? Or should I call the cops on Nathan? No police. Not yet. Uh, so maybe you better, um... Warren, me and Max have to do this on our own. No offense. It's yeah, cool. good. Whatever I can do to help. What you can do is find out anything you can about Nathan's father. I'm on it. Between the snow and eclipse, I'm assuming the apocalypse is around the corner. And thank you. Seriously. I'll call you later. You better. I'm feeling pretty alpha now. Yes, you are. What a fucking bitch. Look at him. Man, that guy is so fucking in love with you. I know. He really did give a serious beat down to Nathan. It was a little scary to watch him do that. Now let's make a date with Frank. Will he even answer you? Frank always answers when he wants money. Like I said, Frank wants to see me right now. Let's not keep him waiting. I hate seeing those poor whales like that. Me too. I just think of their families in the ocean out there looking for them. Well, that asshole's gonna help us find Rachel. Or what? You'll actually shoot him? Chloe, do not count on my rewind. Seriously. Obviously, I'm not counting on you. That's why I have a gun. And I might even save you someday. About time. I am so going to hit you. There's no way we could have guessed this is what would happen to us when we grew up. I'm looking forward to the day when we can just go on a road trip to Portland. Fuck yeah. You, me, and Rachel. Absolutely. So let's play this cool, okay? Just pay Frank his money, and then we can get that code for the book from him. That's all. Got it. No dicking around. Let's roll. This place actually looks nice, but then you see the whales. There might not be any Pan Estates by Saturday. Stop Pan Estates, thanks to local industry, the shores of Acadia Bay are now unit for fish, birds and even whales. It's time to stop the Pan Estates development that is leading to the destruction of jobs, lives and resources. Join the peaceful protest at the Pan Estate HQ. Media and families welcome. Hmm. 
This is where my nightmare started. I may not know quantum speak, but there has to be an explanation. I may not know quantum speak, oh, okay. but there has to be an explanation. It hmm. blows my mind that I was just here with Chloe in an alternate reality. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. It feels like the episodes are getting longer now. Some garbage. Take the trash out sometime, dude. This is where Frank ponders his existence and gets drunk. Yeah, that's a nice chair though. With the flowers and such. Dog bowl. Oh, fresh meat. So Pompadour must be okay. Good doggy. Hmm, okay, anything else? Can't see inside with this shit blocking the view. I don't think Frank listened to my cleaning advice. It's not funny anyway. Okay. Chloe looks ready to rumble. Oh, look. The Wonder Twins. You should have come alone. She's my partner. Yeah, or bodyguard. So let's get to business. Where's my fucking money? Uh, yeah. Give it to him, of course. Oh, I thank you. That wasn't so hard now, was it? And let's not do any more business again. Now, if you excuse me. Frank? Could we ask you a couple quick questions? You have some serious lady balls. No. Jesus, okay. Okay. <laughs> but I'm not getting you high. Frank. We're not here to get high. No, you don't look like the type. Not like Chloe here. So what do you hardy boys want? Just the names of some of your clients. Oh, is that all? Oh, well, why didn't you just tell me? How about I just give you the keys to my RV while I'm at it? Hmm. Listen, Frank. I'm sorry to be such a nuisance, but this is important. Yeah, yeah, everything's important these days. But I can tell you're not bullshitting me. There's no time for that, Frank. I, I just need a little bit of information. Yeah, yeah, well, it always starts with just a little. And Chloe here knows all about that, don't you? Come on, Frank, this isn't about me now. Yeah, right, okay. Both of you are giving me a headache. No deal. Frank, we didn't come here to fight. This is so much bigger than us. Oh yeah, you didn't come here to fight. A day after, you pulled a fucking gun on me. I... I am so sorry about that. It might be the dumbest thing I've ever done. And I've done a lot of dumb things this week. Finally, I believe you. But don't ever aim a gun at anybody unless you intend to kill. Although you don't look like you could kill a bug. I... I try not to. And I never would have pulled the trigger. I was just... Dude, she was scared, all right? 
You pulled your blade on me. We were all freaked out. Now we're all cool. Please? Okay. We're cool for now. But my dog isn't. And if you try any shit, he will bite your head off. He's done it before. We're only here to talk. I wouldn't mess with your dog. Shit, you wouldn't have time. You like dogs? Um, let's talk about dog rescue. Of course I do. I heard you even rescued a bunch of fight dogs. That's amazing. No, all right, it was just the right thing to do. I couldn't stand to see those poor animals treated like, like slaves. That's how I came to own Pompadou. That's very cool, Frank. Your dog is lucky you came along. Maybe we can focus on rescuing Rachel now? Rachel? Is that why you're really here? Yes, we're so close to finding her now, Frank. We need all the help we can get now, especially from you. You and Chloe do not know Rachel like I did, and I couldn't even help her. You're in way over your heads. Why don't you just go play in your clubhouse? Um... Let's talk about bracelet. You have Rachel's bracelet. You obviously know more than you're telling. So tell us. Never come into my home and tell me what to do. Understand? Man, there is something about you that is so wrong. I don't trust you at all. No. Now get out of my face. We don't have much time, Frank. Rachel needs you. It's too late. She's gone. You don't even know her. Like you did? I loved her, asshole. And she loved me. I know that. Chloe, you don't know shit. You were part of her problem. Always trying to take her away from me. Always. Mm -hmm. Calm down, Frank. Let's just talk. Don't you ever tell me what to do. Get it, bitch? Get it? Set the fuck back now! <laughs> Papadou! Shit. You fucking killed my dog! Oh my god! Ugh. Seriously? Come on, Chloe! Fuck! <laughs> ah. Yeah, Chloe, you oh, trusted no. it. Chloe... I just shot a man... and his dog. Ah. Oh. I killed Frank Bowers. You saved my life, Chloe. It, it was self-defense for both of us. Max? Frank is really dead. I know, but we can't stop now. We have to find that code. Fast. Before the co cops come. Can I just rewind? Dead. That's it. Let's get out of here. Sorry, Frank. I'm sorry. Oh, no. Jesus. Chloe actually killed Frank. She'll never forgive herself. Or forget this. And only I can change it. Ugh. Listen, Chloe. I can tell you for a fact that this will not go well. Max, I should have known you would be kind and rewind. So tell me exactly what I need to do here. Um... Let's try... Mm. Get rid of the gun. You won't like this, but you need to get rid of that gun. No, Max, I don't like that at all. But I trust you. And girl, if I need that gun, you better rewind fast. You could have given me to Max, but okay, okay. Hmm. Uh, let's try it this way. Frank, um, after our last meeting, I don't want any weapons involved. Could you put your knife or whatever in the RV until we're done talking? After you pulled a fucking gun on me, you want to negotiate my safety? 
I didn't trust you before, and now I do less. All right. By the way, never tell me what to do in my home. That was Maybe a bad Maybe I don't have a fancy Arcadia Bay house, but this is my turf. Got it? You're goddamn lucky you paid me back. So what do you want? Just the names of... This isn't gonna oh, work out. Okay. If I talk about... The letter or the photo, I don't know. I mean, he'll know I wasn't his ROV, right? Let's talk about... I mean, this could be kind of too straight up, but let's try it. What are you hiding, Frank? You should want to help us, not scare us away. Don't you accuse me of anything. You don't know me or who I am or what I can do. You understand? Huh? Man, there is something about you that is so wrong. Okay. We don't have much time, Frank. It's too late. She's gone. He's dying to fight. Let's just talk. Don't you ever tell me what to do. Get it, bitch. Get it. How do you like my play, kid? Huh? Whoa. Chloe. Get off of me. Motherfucker. <laughs> ah. Tell him to close the door. Frank, uh, your dog is kind of scary. Could you please close the RV door? You aim your gun at me, but you're scared of my dog. That figures. <laughs> okay, there, you're safe. Now what do you want? Now the question is, which is the right choice? I think we saw Rachel's photo in the diner. And he showed it to her. I think we can't we can actually talk about that. Rachel said she gave you one of her favorite photos. That proves how much she cares. And you care. That's why you have to help. How the hell did you know about that photo? That's my favorite picture of her. I can look at it any time and she'll always be there for me. I can't stand not knowing where she is. Not hearing her voice or her laugh anymore. We can change all that. It's up to you. Help us find her, Frank. Please. We really need your client list. Well, if there's a chance in hell, you two dorks can find Rachel. Yeah, I'll take it. My dog isn't barking at you, so I guess that's a good sign. Hey. Thank you. Yeah, thanks, Frank. Seriously. It's hard to take you characters seriously, but I want to. Good luck. Okay, we did it. Cool, Frank gave up the code to help us. Rachel must have seen something good in him. Okay then. Chloe, are you okay? I'm glad things worked out okay with Frank. It's nice to have one less enemy in Arcadia Bay. Amen to that. I better focus on this board and start tying these. Chloe's on a roll to find more clues about Frank. Hi Max, just want to see how the search was going. Thanks Frank, we're getting closer. I see where Chloe digs you stuff later if you both want to party. And good luck. Rachel, now that we're so close. Hey Max, see if you can put together all those Rubik's clues. Just holla if you need any info while I go online to make sure we haven't missed anything. Okay. Okay, let's take a look. 
David's clues. Gather info on a character by selecting all the correct clues. For each section, there's a specific number. Thanks okay. to David's own investigation, I should be able to find out what Nathan did during the party's week. Okay. David should have done way more than take photos of Kate. She knows something? Is this coordinates? I hope in this case that David has good tracking skills. Okay. Look at all these license plates. I hope he was tailing Nathan. Hmm. Those are two different ones, right? Yeah. You need to get rid of these damn cameras, David. Okay, I think that's not relevant. Nathan's pictures? At least David was finally going after the right suspect. Hmm. Then, what is this? David really has been on Rachel's ass for a while. She should have been upset. I was surprised to get an unscheduled visit from Rachel Amber. She seemed quite upset and claimed that David Madsen was following her and taking photographs. David would deny this and given the question of a company Rachel has been keeping, I'm not certain I can believe her right now. Uh huh. Hmm. Of course, I'm a suspect. <laughs> Proving David sucks as a detective. Sorry. Yep. Good, what is this? Does David know what's going on with Rachel, or is he just paranoid about everybody? Rachel has been cutting class all week. Frank and Rachel meet once again. Rachel avoids the dormitory. Followed Rachel to Lighthouse. Rachel avoids the dormitory. Followed Rachel to Lighthouse. Trade Bay release reports. Okay. Rachel Ember, 18, was picked up at 2.30... 5 p.m. at Blackwell Academy for possession of a controlled substance. This was reported by David Madsen, head of campus security, who witnessed her trying to hide her hide or secure a suspicious medical bag. This officer was called in to question Miss Amber, who responded with threats and denials. Her bag was found to contain various illegal pharmaceuticals. Mm hmm. Then hmm. maybe he was trying to help Kate. In his own messed up way. What if it's like the car thing, uh, thingy? Then... The coordinates? If it has something to do with the car... And no. Kate? This makes no sense, Max. Okay. Then... This. Looks like David was tracking somebody's car. Oh. Maybe even Nathan's. Good clue. So I was right about the car. Should I select this? And that's oh, all she wrote. Okay. <sighs> Please let me find some clues about Nathan in here. What? That's even more now? Ah. Okay. Great. Oof. Now, how do I find out which car is Nathan's to match the coordinates? Oh, great. Oof. Yep. Another car David was tracking. Okay. Hmm. Who else was David tracking here? Mm -hmm. Why the hell are you following these people? Okay. And to where? So this is this Twilight Zone thing? I'm gonna click on that. Is this the same one? Of course Nathan drives an SUV. Overcompensating, as usual. This one? There's Nathan dealing to the kids right out in the open. Okay. Maybe I should have let Warren beat Nathan's ass down. Just this once. Nah. That's definitely Chloe's car. Mm hmm. Interesting. This. Is this Nathan's car? Yeah. I think so. It looks like this is not relevant at all. You sure? Let's deselect this. Look at this. Hmm. No. Who does this car belong to? Is this his car? Wait, Come let's on. select this. To do Nathan's this. license plate number, then match it up select with the coordinates. This. this is like goddamn math. I suck. Yeah, same. This one, right? No, wait. Eh. Uh, eh. Uh, eh. Uh. 
Let me see. Okay, yeah. This, right? Oh, yes. Now we're finally getting somewhere. Okay. Chloe, let's plug in these numbers and see if they lead to an actual address. Aye, aye, Captain. Here we come, Rachel. What, now there's more? Oh, are you kidding me? Okay, that's the final one. Nathan's clues, Frank's clues. Let's start above. Let's look at Frank's drug deals during the week of the party. Okay. Oh, Frank's account book. But the client names are encrypted. Great. Frank is for sure the local dealer, but... I doubt Rachel was carrying drugs for him. David Metz and Nathan Prescott right. have both come to my office to warn me that Rachel Ember has been a drug mule in Mr. Metzen's talk radio terminology, acting as a front for another local dealer. Considering Rachel's exemplary status, I told David that I would need more concrete proof and he promised he had more to show. Okay, I don't think that's relevant to Frank. So, what happened to Rachel after this? She dumped Frank, but I don't think he would hurt her. I've seen this. Rot must stand for Rottweiler. That does fit Nathan. Rotten. Aha. Uh -huh. Katie, Miss Fancy Car, Nacho, Joseph, Mixed Estella, Simon, Logan, Steve, Nathan, Stifler, Justin, Chloe, Bruce, Johnny, Nicholas, Glenn, and Tonk. Okay. That's interesting. What do we have here? There's no doubt she loved him in Oop. some way. Yeah. So weird how close they were. But Frank couldn't keep Rachel. Or protect. Maybe Rachel took a road trip with Frank, but she did come back. I'm not really sure right now what to select. Hmm. Okay, I, th I think I will need the list. And probably the account book. The game is on. Now, okay. talk to us, account book. Tell us everything. Oh, God. Okay. Let's see if I can find any deal Frank made with Nathan or the Vortex Club. Okay. Okay, Max. Remember these names and see how Nathan fits in with all this. Okay. I won't remember those, obviously, but I can check. Luckily. Frank sure is keeping his customers satisfied. He could open a store. Hmm. There's one with rot at 10 p.m. I will select it. And everybody in Arcadia Bay must be high. That explains a lot. Jesus. And Stella, that's pretty surprising. Hmm. If Frank applied this kind of detail to his life, who am I to talk? I wonder what dog name Frank would have given me. Hmm. Okay, Rod. There we go. I'm getting a contact high just reading this. Okay. Huh. Two deals with Nathan on the same day? Mm-hmm. Party supplies, no doubt. Okay. Jesus, he spent a lot of money on that. Oh, yes. These are all the times and places for Frank and Nathan's deals. Uh, that's it, Max. Okay. 
There we go. Okay. I have to analyze Nathan's messages. What could help me unlock this phone? Okay, let's look here. <sighs> There's a lot of numbers in here. Um... His date of birth, maybe? Hmm... I don't know. This is the Vortex Club party where Nathan drugged Kate. Did he do the same thing to Rachel at another party? Who knows? Holy shit. Nathan is seriously unhinged. But those numbers might be useful. Um... I would try 542 maybe. I don't know. Oh, so busted. It's good to see the Prescotts can't cover up all their tracks. A disciplinary warning report. We regret to inform you that Nathan Prescott has disrupted various classes over the past month despite repeated warnings and leniency. Due to a crude outburst in Mrs. Hoida's intro to literature class of Tuesday, September 20, uh, Nathan was sent back to his dormitory for the day without a proper write-up for his files. Nathan has enormous potential but also erratic behavior patterns that may need supervision beyond Blackwell's ability. The school cannot tolerate this, these disruptions, so we hope you will discuss this matter with Nathan to impress upon him the severity of the situation. Please see the attached files for the full reports. Okay. Nothing here. Couldn't hurt to give this pin code a whack. One, 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 one? I don't think so. If there is a dark room, we better find it. It's a good thing Chloe slipped all these files on her flash drive. Hmm. Uh, I would try this, this, and also this, and this. Okay, Max. Let's blow this code up and go home. It actually worked. I'm surprised now. Nathan? Pussies can't fucking fight. You fuck up my dorm door, I kill your scholarship. Okay. Okay. Uh... Let's start hacking. Um, yeah, I would try his date of birth, I think. Wait, what is it? Um, August 29th, so 0 to 9, maybe? We'll try it. See, uh, what? Oh, okay. 0... Eight, two, nine. How do I press OK? Oh, score! Yay! Now let's check out all the messages from the week Kate was drugged. OK. What up, Nidichi? OK. Cool, bitch, you so be water, asshole, come down, bring it to me, bring it, stay away. Pigs at the beach? Yes. <sighs> This is all about Nathan trying to score for the Vortex Club party. You home? Got to party tonight? Home on the way? Load the pole? <sighs> Nathan was jonesing hard the night of the party. <sighs> he didn't have enough drugs. Need to score a sip. Don't make house calls. You have a car. No time. Charge me double. Damn right. Have cash on you. No fucking around. Give me the address. A call to give you the exact directions. Transit, get the money out. Drug dealer drama. You up, bro? No shit, what you need? Okay. Um, need more stuff? Don't come, fuck off. God, Nathan. You're out of control. <laughs> need weed, etc. Now, calm yourself, you're tweaking. Soon, hook a brother up, please. Meet Beach, be cool this time. So it was you. Now I can officially call you a psycho stalker. Hmm. Jeez. Is this from Nathan's father? That's brutal. 
Please do not contact me at work. I've told you this before and being high is not an excuse anymore. This is a business, not just a hobby. You want me to treat you like an adult who can get things done on his own? Impress me. I'd like nothing more than to be proud of you. I'm not there yet. Shit. Okay. Oh, Take a breath, Max. Shit. Go through all this data and you can find out where Nathan took Kate after the party. Okay. W wait, when was the party? I can see it here, right? So, this infamous party was the fourth. Fourth, okay, at 8 p.m. You are prone to shit, what you need, blah blah blah, okay. No, this is not it. This is not it. Maybe. Yeah, that's gotta be it. Okay. Hmm. No. I don't think so. Maybe this. And what do we have here? If Joyce knew what Nathan did to Chloe, she would fry his ass. Nothing here. Was Frank meeting Nathan at the junkyard? Hmm. No, one day before. That beach is like Frank's main office. Oh, that has to be the Prescott estate. <sighs> Poor rich Nathan. So there's one at that day, but it's at 8 p.m. and I don't think that's... No, I don't think so. Not much out there. It's also that day at 10... 56 p.m. I know Nathan wasn't looking for Bigfoot in the forest. Somebody is stocking up on gas. Why? I will try this. This is like goddamn math. Nope. I suck. Then... This is interesting. What's he actually doing in the forest? Well, anyway. What's no doubt here? that Nathan stays in his dorm room. So, he could be hiding clues there too. What about this? If I can match nope. one of the text messages and transactions with Frank, then I can find the exact location. I think it's this house then. Okay. Nope. Maybe I should try to link other clues together. Hmm. I think the first one should be the right one, I don't know. Since Kate left the party early with Nathan, I should search for texts, locations, and transactions in the evening. True. Okay, is, is it has to be this one? This makes no sense, Max. Okay, this was before the party. I think this was during the party. Oh, finally! Okay. Chloe. I just looked at the this date at the time. Definitely the place. Let me dig up some more clothes here. Nope. Nothing, Max. There's nothing here. There's some shitty old barn. Let's keep searching and find out who owns this haunted barn. I'm on this. Hold on. Somebody named Harry Aaron Prescott. I'm shocked. Should we call the police? Fuck that. You know the police here are like Nathan's private security, right? That's so messed up. As you've noticed, this whole town is messed up. We can't trust anybody, except each other. So we have to go out to that farmhouse by ourselves. I was afraid you'd say that. We could call Warren since he kicked Nathan's ass. It's just the two of us, nobody else. And I'm not scared at all. You have the power. 
I feel like we're this close to finding Rachel. We have to find her, Max. We will. But remember, my power isn't infinite. We still have to be careful. Do you hear, Chloe? Yes, sir. Holy shit, this is scary. I know, but we're here. Let's go find the best way in. Whoa, check this out. Fresh tire tracks. Dude, somebody was just here. Then we need to get in that barn. Chloe is so damn fearless. Where does that come from? Okay. Oh, Warren. Thanks for pulling me off, Nathan. Talk about going ape. He deserved a beatdown, but I don't blah, 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 blah. want to stoop to his level. Besides, somebody is going to kick his ass sooner than later. Your wise grasshopper, thanks, but I wasn't exactly the hero this town needs. You still paid your hero dues. Now it's just the cost costume. Speaking of, I hope you're coming to party tonight so we can celebrate. I'll let you know, promise. Cool. Now I have to calm myself down. Okay. Watch us. Hmm. Okay. So... Watson, we can safely assume that this ancient vehicle is not our suspect. There has to be another way in, Max. I bet you can find it. Yeah, I'm... I'm trying. Oh, hey. Nice. Okay. Aha. Uh -huh. Chloe, I found the front door. Come on. Oh, yes. Maximus rules. God, this is way too Blair Witch. I have goosebumps all over. Come on, Supermax. Hey, check out this old chest. A little louder, Chloe. Jeez, that is ancient. Jackpot. Old shit. No, look closer. Harry, Aaron, Prescott, and family donate new library to Arcadia Bay. Prescott industry celebrate grand opening. Prescott's bring bomb shelter boom to town. Nice scrapbook. You search for more clues and I'll scope out the area. Yes, old Prescott clippings. But that can't be the only thing here. Anyway guys, I will end this part here. Thank you for watching. Hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe to my channel and I will see you all in the next video. Have a good one. No more